Hello everybody and how are you? It's been a little while since I feel like I sat down and spoke to you. You always just see me traveling about somewhere. But anyway, happy 2022. I have a little bit of a January, fun, most fun moments in January overview prepared for you here. I cannot and I will not make these London Life vlogs weekly. I would love to, but I do not have time. This is crazy, but I'm making them monthly. And I promise you this, 12 London vlogs this year. It's going to be my wedding. It's going to be lots of cool things to do, as you know, and maybe also some stuff from home, although we've been at home quite a bit. So let's scrap that. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what I got up to this month. Happy, what is today? Happy Monday. So, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a social setting. Today I am at Toka, or Toka, Toka Social, I believe, uh, which is here in the O2 Arena uh, at North Greenwich Station, and it's social football. So I will show you a little bit more. We're here with a big group of 10 or 11 friends. Why not start your week like this on a Monday? <laughs> so I'll show you a little bit, basically. Here is where everyone's sort of watching and then you've got the uh, closer to the pitch area here and then the pitch and this is how it goes. Go just here too. Oh, it's my go now. <laughs> London never fails to amaze me. This was super fun and super cheap. That is if you come in a big group like us. I can clearly not play football. The food was great and there are three games overall that you can play and I really recommend it for things like team bonding, after work drinks, birthdays or really just fun. Loved it. What does it feel like to be in a room in London's most famous hotel, at least with the most famous staircase, which obviously we were, which I will obviously show you later as well. It feels like you're definitely in St. Pancras Renaissance Hotel, especially because of the extremely high ceilings. And also, I'm not actually sure, Gaj, what do you call these bits? Like yes. pillars? Sort of, you know, as you can see here, pillars in the middle of the room. The room is like sort of an, I mean, I guess I would call it old school 70s design, especially the lamps and also maybe just in general, a little bit of the color scheme, but it obviously does go with the room. I really love it. It's super spacious. It's very warm and cozy. Um, I can't wait to sleep here. And I think we're now gonna go and try the spa. So, staycation in London time, because why not? I was invited to stay a night because I was working with the hotel to review their afternoon tea, which you will of course see too. So here's the spa. Sorry for the shaky footage, by the way. Uh, I only used my old GoPro because I didn't want to take my other cameras. Into the steam room. There we go, steam room. It was super nice and I needed it. And in the evening, we found honestly the most luxurious bar called the booking office. We had some drinks and snacks and then we tried to get into the shoom, but uh, that never works, as you know. So we settled for pizza in caravan close to King's Cross. Good morning. I just woke up, got ready. Gertrude is still in the bathroom getting ready as well. And then we're going to go downstairs and have breakfast. And then I'll show you the famous stairs, of course. And later we'll have afternoon tea. And I also wanted to share with you just a few of the little details that sort of make this room and hotel very special for me. Personally, obviously it looks nice and it looks grand and, you know, it's an amazing location. But also um, we have earplugs, which you don't often have for so two pairs of earplugs. Also, uh, there are takeaway coffee cups in case you want to sort of go for a stroll in the morning and make coffee in the room. Also, they have my favorite tea brand, Tea Picks here. And the most important thing, we just called reception to ask until when is breakfast? And it's until 12, which is unheard of, I think. So we just slept until 9.30, so we're gonna go down now. But 12 is amazing. So if you're a lot late sleeper and you like late breakfast, this place is probably for you. I actually called and they were like, oh, uh, oh, on the weekends, we like to have our guests sleep in a bit longer. So we have an extra hour, which I loved. I think it's so cool. Um, so I assume that means during weekdays, I don't have it until 12, but today is Sunday and breakfast until 12 is amazing. So we're gonna go down now.
And this is the famous staircase. I've just snuck out the room before we go down for afternoon tea. I feel like we're just eating. We've also done other things. We've also shot some pictures and done some work and stuff. But yeah, here we are. This is uh, it. And I mean, it's famous firstly because it's simply absolutely stunning, but also probably mostly famous for the Spice Girls wannabe video, which I'm sure you recognize when I show you this very shot. And I just walked up and down to show you all of this and now I'm out of breath. I really need to get back to the gym. <laughs> And yes, it was finally time for the most stylish afternoon tea in London. It's by LK Bennett, so no surprise really, and you can find it in the Hansom, which is the reception area, or in the reception area of the hotel. Probably a really great moment for Valentine's Day. And this is not champagne, in case you're thinking that. This is actually um, sparkling cold rose petal tea. Very nice, I love it. So everything is flavoured really intensely, quite sweet, a lot of rose and obviously we finish every afternoon tea with scones and the question forever remains cream or jam first. Comment below let me know. For those of you who've been watching for a while, for me it's always cream first and for Gerge actually, I'm very proud of him. <laughs> And I interrupt your fun program for a PR parcel opening. Isn't this nostalgic? Do you remember when we used to open PR parcels in lockdown and that was literally the only content you guys got from me? <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's do it anyway, because I know you enjoy it. So this is, these are some shoes that I got. They are from Emu Australia. And it's my favorite shoe brand. It's not very fancy. I mean, don't expect any cray high heels. Uh, <laughs> these are literally just winter boots. Ooh. <laughs> Let me actually put them on. Yes, I am wearing Christmas socks. I mean, okay, it's really hard to tell right now. Okay, don't look at the bed because it's very messy. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, I mean, you can kind of imagine what they look like, right? I mean, I'm sure you get it. They're just super practical, super warm Chelsea boots, and I love them, and I love the brands. If you want to check them out, please feel free. This is not sponsored. This is just a brand that I sometimes work with. And I think I will now lead you into the next bit of the vlog, which I don't know what that is, but you'll be surprised. I haven't edited it yet. Here we go, let's see what else I got up to. Hi, hello everybody. I don't actually know what is today. Today is Sunday, and Gertrude is with me here. Hello. And we are at Cinnamon Kitchen and we're about to have dinner here and afterwards I'm going to show you Battersea Lights Festival. And funnily enough, I've made a video about Cinnamon Kitchen many, many years ago and I called it like best Indian food in London or something. So we're back today uh, to check out the Indian food here and then afterwards I'll show you the Lights Festival. And for now they've given us a very blue colourful cocktail to start with. Yeah, which indeed is kind of sweet candy-like. And there's definitely also cinnamon in there, I think. Like it. One fish curry, yeah, and then one lamb briyani. And in my next video, I think I'll be going to Canada or Bath or Cornwall. Anyway, all three of these are in the cards for February and March. So you better watch out, you better watch them and you better subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. What was your favorite part of these three, I think, activities uh, or four? I don't know yet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you very soon. You're the best. Okay, bye.